Let's move on to main topic number two. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Jesse Shook. And Jesse Shook writes, I can confirm that in addition to other boneheaded decisions NBC has made regarding Peacock, that they have disabled HDMI as a playback, perhaps out of some infantile desire to keep their streaming off televisions. This means anyone with an HDMI PC monitor can't stream it to their PC. I am very disappointed. All right. Thanks for sending that in, man. And yes, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about now, we all know that NBC universal Peacock, that name. Anyway, they've just launched with their free service and like HBO max, they dropped the ball. They weren't on the two most popular streaming platforms, Roku and Amazon fire stick. So those ones aren't there as well. Well, apparently there's another problem. You know, some people thought, well, you know, okay, if it's not on my Roku or it's not on my Fire Stick, we come up with workarounds. And some people would like get their laptop and plug it into their TV through their HDMI port or, or some other method like that. Well, a bunch of people tried doing that and they were getting error messages saying this method is not supported. It's like, what's going on? Well, apparently, yeah. Peacock won't let you use an HDMI cable, ladies and gentlemen, in a tweet Peacock confirmed that HDMI connectivity is disabled. HDMI connectivity is not supported at this time. No, 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 no. It's not that it's not supported. It's not that you didn't put in that feature. You went out of your way to block people being able to do it. Don't give me this. It's not support. You banned it. You went out of your way to stop your customers from being able to do it. Anyway, let's keep reading on. HDMI connectivity is not supported this time. The at Peacock's Cares account tweeted in reply to a user who posted the screenshots of the error message they were getting trying to use an HDMI cable. Users will not be able to view via external monitor connection. They will need to use their PCs, provided you're using something other than HDMI, uh, probably a, a, a DVI or some kind of a display port, mobile or one of our other supported devices directly like a Chromecast or an Apple TV or something like that. Rob, I look at this and I cannot hit, first of all, there's been a number of things that they have done that made me shake my head. Number one, just the name of this stupid service is idiotic, but I've gone on about that long enough. Then again, like, like HBO Max did initially, they don't come out on the two most popular streaming platforms, Roku, Amazon, Fire Stick. And now this HDMI thing. And I'll tell you what this sounds like to me, Rob. To me, this reeks of the old, antiquated, old cable system kind of things. Like, oh, we don't want you being able to do this with our shows. It, it just feels to me like a move done by a company that is completely out of touch. There is simply, in today's, listen, guess what? If people are going to pirate your stuff, they don't need an HDMI cable to do it. No. <laughs> I on my tablet right now, if I open up Peacock on my tablet right now, guess what? I got a screen recording app and I can just record it that way. There is simply no logical reason that isn't some antiquated 2003 kind of logic to impose such a restriction on people, especially when a lot of people are looking for alternative ways to view your content since you're not available on the two biggest streaming platforms. Uh, th this is just... This is just idiotic and idiotic is becoming a word that I'm finding I'm using with NBC Peacock an awful lot lately. But I, I just, besides, I mean, look, they've got the free option, which I, I think is great. Then they've got a paid option, which I think is perfectly fine. You get a little bit more content with your $5 a month. So you can get it for free ad supported with, I think, 7,500 pieces of content. You can get 10,500 pieces of content if you pay $5 a month. And then if you pay, I can't remember if it's 10 or $15 a month, you get the more content with no, ad, with no ads whatsoever. So you can get ad free, or sorry, you can get ad supported for free, ad supported for $5 a month, but more, a little bit more content or more content with no ads at all. So they got their different tiers. I actually don't mind them testing that out. Different tiers. Fine, play around with that. It could work out. It could be good for somebody, especially if they find that the free ad supported version works best for them. But they've done so many other things, Rob. They've just seemed idiotic. Rob, you take a look at this disabling the idea, of being able to use an HDMI cable to watch your stuff because, ooh, piracy in 2003. But I don't know. Can you think of some other legitimate reasons why they might impose a, a, a restriction like this? No. 
And uh, <laughs> considering considering how much I use HDMI cables in my home theater system, in my computer system here to plug cameras into my, I, I mean, it's sort of this ubiquitous, easy way. Uh, again, the decisions that are being made on these on these services seem like such a throwback to I don't know twenty five years ago. I, I I I don't know who makes these kinds of decisions because they're certainly not very consumer friendly. Uh, I mean, they're not as it, it's not a fun. It's not like Quibi, which is fundamentally ill conceived from the get go. <laughs> but uh, but but I mean, I, I look at this kind of stuff and I wonder who's actually making these decisions. Is somebody that's clearly using the service? They're not. Like, I don't know who comes up and makes a decision like this. Like, why would you make connectivity a problem? Like, uh, especially if people are using, like, if you've got a television with multiple HDMI inputs that you're using, like my 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 uh, HDMI, I've got three HDMI uh, ports on my, com uh, my screen. It's old, but there's more screen. There's more HDMI inputs on more uh, on on newer screens, but I use them all all the time. That's how my external devices are connected to my TV, and I don't want to not be able to watch certain things because of that connectivity issue. Why would you possibly limit the way people can connect? I mean, I understand why, but I mean, if it's something that's so commonplace, it doesn't really bode well for the brain trust that's running your company. If they don't, if they remove that kind of connectivity, I mean, that's a deal breaker for me. I, and I think it's going to be a deal breaker for a number of people. And, and here's the other thing. It's that obviously some kinds of HDMI cable work, right? Because it says, well, Apple TV is supported. Apple TV connects your TV through an HDMI cable. So there's clearly something specific in the app that recognizes it's being played on an Apple TV and then unlocks the capability of HDMI. Chromecast, they say, is supported. Okay, well, Chromecast connects via HDMI. So clearly there's something in the app that recognizes it's being played on a Chromecast and will then enable. Why they don't just throw the gates open and allow it to be, uh, to be used in general... It's really confusing to me. Like if they made a solid business case, like if like if you couldn't pirate off of a tablet and if you couldn't pilot, pirate um, off of your regular, you know, DVI connected monitor on your computer, I would kind of get it. But why you won't let somebody open up Peacock on their laptop and then connect that laptop to their TV so they can sit back and watch it on their big screen in their living room. I, I just, I don't understand their logic here. And this is Neither not a good PR I. way to start things off. I don't know. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Do you, do you think, can you think of some really good, solid, regular reasons why they may want to have HDMI not be a part of their viewing experience for Peacock? And by the way, if some of you guys tried out Peacock, it's now live. Are you enjoying it? They got some good stuff on there. What do you guys think about all this? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.